people have been asking me how to make stinger hooks for like walleyes. This is what we're doing. This is a, a four inch setup. As you can see, it's pretty long for like walleyes, so I'd use it for pike or whatnot. So the way to make these things, first you make yourself a little board. Two inch, three inch, four inch gives me a guide on what length I need to do. For walleyes, I usually do two to three inches. You don't need them this big. Way too big of a leader. Get your line, get your uh, treble hook or single hook or whatever you want to use. Me, I'm using 10 pound fluorocarbon. You can use 15, 20 pound fluorocarbon because it's un invisible. You need some crimps. Don't ask me what size crimps these are. Big enough to put your line on. So you can see what that looks like. Can you see it? Okay. All right. You need to get two nails for whichever size you're doing, unless you're doing you know, multiple all sizes, then you need more nails. You need a nail so you can use a knot. This is how you do it. You tie your uh, treble hook onto your line, get about a good you know, 9 to 12 inches to get yourself something to work with. You put it through the crimp, put it back through the crimp to make a loop. You get that? Okay. Since we're doing fours, you hook it on one nail, you put your loop on the other nail, and you just pull it tight. Slide the crimp to the nail. You just, just do a normal knot. Sorry if you can't see it with the video. Pull it tight. Use your nail so you can actually slide it down to your crimp. Pull it tight. Trim it. Make sure you don't trim it too close because it's still going to pull. A little bit of your knot. Put it on your jig. Pull tight. If you want to loosen it back up, you just grab your crimp. And there you go. And this is probably to get the whole setup. It's probably eight to twelve bucks to get all your stuff that you're going to need, and you can make within I don't know, fifty or twenty, depending on how long you do them. Thank you.